evening everybody. Uh, good evening sir. And, uh, good evening all the contestants and also the press people and also the uh, family members of the contestants. I first congratulate all the contestants for working, for walking in the ramp with, in a very enthusiastic manner. I thank Ms. Uh, Kim Scuddles to invite me for such a beautiful event. Uh, usually uh, in pregnancy, this is my second pregnancy, but usually in pregnancy women feel very low or I don't know, uh, some kind of <laughs> irritation will be there every time and to get out of that irritation mode or to get out of the stress, I think uh, Kim Scuddles has organized such a beautiful and stress releasing event. I am really honoured to be here and Nizanga. This is such a wonderful occasion, such a great occasion because there is a famous quote which says that God cannot be found everywhere. That is why He has created mothers. When I was born in the world, 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 I was born in the as a child or as an adult, whenever we, whenever we are in Pain. Immediately the first word which comes out is Amma Anta. Mammy Anta Rochu, Ma Anta Rochu, Ammi Anta Rochu. And the same way whenever you are excited and be happy also, the same word will come. That shows the connection between a mother and a child. The purest form I really feel that a human can really face is the love from a mother. I really would want everyone to give a big applaud to all the mothers in the world, not only here. Governor Telangana State Srimati Tamil Sai Saundara Rajan to the event today. 
Madam, all the 38 participants were waiting to see you as your request also was there to see all the participants together. Now I take pleasure of announcing the nine finalists for today. We just had one round of uh, the fashion show and then we added the marks for the pre-events also. The five pre-event marks and the fashion show today's ramp walk marks were added and we have the nine finalists today. Hold your breath everybody, it's time for the announcement of the nine participants. She also happens to be the first woman to hold this office. We are really proud of you, Madam. Most of you already know this. She started her career as a medical practitioner after completing her MBBS and Fiji in obstetrics and gynecology. Post that, she did her special training on ultrasound and fetal therapy at Toronto, Canada. Public service has always been very high of her agenda and soon she took the full-time role of the state head of a political party. She is very passionate about her health and preventive care. It is my honour to welcome her to the dais, ladies and gentlemen. Please give her a loud applause. To our honorable governor, Dr. Tamil Sai Sambar Rajendra. A very special good evening to each and everyone. And I appreciate all the participants, 40 mothers and the winners, 9 mothers. And I have to say, this is a very beautiful event. But this event does not add beauty. The motherhood itself. It's a beautiful experience. So, each and every mother is a beautiful woman and I'm really very happy to attend this program. And my respects to Dr. Bhaskar Rao, the Managing Director of Kim's Hospital. In this occasion, I congratulate them for good number of lung transplants which they have done in the hospital. And I have an opportunity to appreciate them online. I call them online. And because it's COVID, otherwise, I personally would have congratulated because Telangana, particularly Hyderabad, uh, very proud of you because the lung transplant, because I am wife of uh, a nephrologist. From the beginning, I know the experience of uh, kidney transplantation, how it is painful and what's the amount of time they have to spend, the energy they have to spend, the resources they have to spend. So lung transplant was a dream once. So now it is, uh, because it's done kids, I definitely uh, congratulate you and I really acknowledge that. And my respects to Dr. Shilpi Reddy, Chief of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Kim's Girdles. Really appreciate the thought process of this. As I said, as I said, the, experience, the pregnancy itself is a beautiful experience. But Making it as an event to participate and I appreciate you to, in this pandemic period, our viewers are at stress and strain. The promotion of our handloom ether, that also I really appreciate because it has coincidentally she has thought about our, not only mothers, about our viewers also. So I appreciate the thought process. Uh, which is really a unique program. As a gynecologist, not only as I am attending this program, not only as a governor, I am attending this as a gynecologist. So I am really very happy and, and my respects to our 
Honorable Member of Parliament. I have already met him, but because of the uh, Dr. Kadam Ranjit Reddy, because of Mars, we are unable to identify each other. So when I was coming, I was telling, it's a high time you have to think of mass programs without mass. So, so we, we are looking forward as doctors, as political people, uh, we are, we are, the situation where should we get rid of this virus and without mass. And my respects to Dr. Chanatej Kogarthi, consultant psychiatrist, Kim's Hospital, and Dr. B. Sudhir, Medical Director, and Srimadhi Rohini Priyadarshini, IPS, BCP Crime. And she also has been a very beautiful experience. Thank you so much. And all my respects to all the participants here, and all the media, and my security personnel, and all the dignitaries on the dais and off the dais. When I became the governor, you know, I, I am the first governor of, women governor of the state and I am the youngest governor. So when I became the governor, some of the people said, how can he, he handle a new state? He has become a governor and she is the youngest person and how can she handle a new state? I told, I am a gynecologist, I have the experience of handling new babies very so this is a newborn baby, youngest state in our country. So as a gynecologist, I will handle it in a very beautiful way and a very expert way. So as a gynecologist, I replied everyone. And I should say, create awareness as Dr. Bhaskar Rao mentioned here. Now the women are much aware of their pregnancy. When we were students, it was very difficult to make them aware of certain conditions. But now the women are very much aware. Even the economically background compromised people also. When we went to house agents at Tanjavur Medical College, we used to teach them about anemia, which is prevalent in the pregnant women. We used to give them iron tablets. You have to take iron tablets. You should not be anemic because there will be blood loss during deliveries and your baby also need much hemoglobin. So you have to take iron. We used to give iron tablets. In the afternoon, when we go at the backyard for our lunch time, we used to see all the iron tablets thrown in the backyard. We used to pick them up and we used to call the pregnant ladies. Where did you throw? They used to tell, these iron tablets are black in color. So if I take, my baby will be black in color, so I want a fat baby, why are you making our babies black? This was the mindset. This is not a story, this was my personal experience. So it was very difficult to educate the women about anemia and about the iron tablets. But nowadays, women themselves fast. But uh, the pharmacy, this is a pharmacy hub. Nowadays the iron tablets are not in black in color, they have become white or red in color. So, so we used to know, see, we are black only in color, darker in color. We have become doctors and uh, we, have, we are intelligent. So don't think that black people and dark people are very, uh, it's a menace to the country or the state. It's, it's a beauty. Being black is also a beauty. So I am telling this, the, the, the situation and the era has changed. Now, it's unthought of, unheard of, this uh, wrapping up of uh, this, walking about the women and really, very happy. And I should say, the government also, the central government also, uh, giving monetary funds to the women and even insurance schemes are there, even for Caesarians are included in that. And I should say, the state government also has come out with KCR kit. After the KCR kit, I should say that I am from Tamil Nadu, I have joined to introduce the Amma kit. Then the same type of kit is provided here as KCR kit, the gift articles to the newborn babies. And I should say, and I read, and I came to know, after KCR kit, the institutional deliveries have improved, the number has improved. So the government's also providing support to the women who, whether it is central government or the state government, and I appreciate their efforts. And in this junction, I want to tell one thing. Now we have seen.
see women, but from this stage itself, breastfeeding should be encouraged. Breastfeeding should be the primary focus of the pregnant women. Six months exclusively, breastfeeding should be there to have intelligent citizens. So I really appeal that also to the pregnant mothers, and I really very happy, and I really happy all the people who are attending this program, supporting this event. And my desire is there should not be any maternal mortality or fetal mortality in the country. It is the duty of all the doctors and it is the duty of all the social persons and the people representatives. The country should move forward so that there should not be any market maternal mortality and fetal mortality. As a doctor, after gaining my post, degree in gynecology and particularly went for fetal therapy because during the pregnancies in the village period, even village in villages, I saw deformed children. So to rectify the deformity at least to some extent, I went for fetal therapy and I had a very good practice in fetal therapy and I appreciate your efforts that you should be ready for all your efforts and creating an awareness about pregnancy and I appreciate your efforts and I wish all the pregnant mothers for a safe delivery. That is also my appeal. The people think that doctors are unnecessarily doing caesareans. But as a gynecologist I cannot say that. They, they judge the patient, they assess the patient and according to the patient's condition, whether it is normal delivery or caesarean, that decision is taken. But yoga, meditation and other efforts facilitate normal deliveries. That also we have to have in mind. So I wish you all the best. I wish all the mothers a safe delivery. Thank you so much. Sai Sondra Rajan Karu for accepting our request to grace this event as chief guest.